Stradler, where are you? Get back in your cubicle. I'm not paying you to uncubicle yourself. Hey friends. So a little side benefit to uh, having family in Spring Hill, Nova Scotia is if you're looking for six volt batteries for your RV, Charette batteries just down the hill and even better when your brother-in-law works there. He doesn't get an employee discount, but he got me online with what they call blems, which is short for blemished. And uh, they're about half the price of the regular batteries. So we did a little upgrade. So these are the Trojans here that I'm going to be taking out. Um, they've been pretty good to me. I have no complaints. Uh, they're just not quite big enough as far as energy storage goes because um, I have more panels than I have storage. So I decided to upgrade uh, to something with a little more amp hours. And that's where these come in. So these here are two S556 volts, equaling 12 volts, and they should do the job nicely. Because like I said, basically the Trojans were sufficient enough just on rainy days where you weren't getting the, the reload. The uh, It wouldn't take long before we were pretty much out of power. So with these, I should have a little extra for those times when we're not getting much sun. But as you can see, Right here it says blem. Um, the one, I think, the actual blemish. Let me see if I can see it here. What they consider a blem could be anywhere from a scratch where it gets hit by, you know, like scratched on the palate or um, that kind of thing. But the actual blem on this one is this here, this little discoloration. And then down here, you'll see, I think that's chipped. So this is the blem, and that's the blem. Not a big deal at all. This one, I'm not even sure. I haven't even been able to see anything on this one. So today I'm gonna to take these Trojans out and we're gonna uh, pop the new ones in. Get them all set up and kind of test them a little bit before we go. So here we are, all installed, all running. And to be honest, it's been a month. I decided to do a little real world testing before posting this video. So we gave it uh, uh, the first month on, on the road. Now, this charge controller here, we figured out that it is a bit of a bottleneck. What's going on is I have more wattage in the solar panels, a uh, total of 780 now with the ground one deployed. Um, and the charge controller is only 40 amps. So basically it's more or less fit for about 500 watts and doesn't know what to do with the other 280. So with the bigger batteries, it's more or less, from what I understand, downgrading to like a trickle charge. So um, on the advice of one of the RV guys, um, we figured out it might be an idea to just add in a second charge controller for the ground deployed panel. Um, let the 500 watts on the roof use this one and then we'll do another one for the third panel Yeah, that way you have a backup. Um, it's that or I uh, upgrade This charge controller from a 40 to like a 60 or an 80 that can handle all three panels and do its job that way um, I'm still on the fence whether I should upgrade or split them off, but we'll decide and I'll let you know so other than that, the batteries are holding a charge good. Um, when they are full, they last quite a while. To be fair, we actually haven't even had full sun um, on all three panels for any length of time in the past month. Um, I did get some sun at Tate's Hell, which is a video that will be coming later. Um, but the uh, where we were parked, we were kind of shaded. So it didn't get full sun on all three panels for you know four or five hours like it should during the day so that said i'll do a little update on the, uh, what i decide and how it works a little later on all right um that's about it talk to you soon cheers 
It's like working with a monkey.